season's here now with the Dick McGuire Invitational. Um, always, uh, just first of all, just your thoughts of just getting this, the season started right now. Yes, we are really excited for the 2016-2017 season. We bring four new players in, and we return all five players that played in postseason last year. So we have a lot of depth, nine players, um, actually from eight different countries. So we're very diverse, um, but we're ready to go. Um, have a brand new assistant. His name is Colton Lapa, and he played golf at the University of Arizona and was one of their best players on the team last year. Um, so he just graduated and just started with us a couple weeks ago. But with him and with four new players, it's a fresh new start for our program. Um, Going with the same culture, same philosophy, coaching philosophy, and and getting athletic, competitive kids in here um, that really are playing for the University of Denver and their teammates. But UNM is going to be a great field. Um, there's 17 teams, and I think there's 10 that were ranked in the top 25 from last year. So very competitive, great way to start our fall season and kind of see where where we're at and where we need Im need improvement moving forward um, into the the later part of the fall and even the spring. Um, Speaking of that, you guys um, historically like to go play in some very challenging tournaments. Um, it just kind of seems like the, the mantra, you know, of this program that, you know, competition breeds, you know, breeds competition on this. Um, just, like, how does that, um, how do you feel that helps develop the players by having them go play against some of these really elite teams across the country? Like, do you think it just kind of helps them, just lets them focus on what they need to work on so then you're better prepared when you kind of come up to the Summit League tournament? Yeah, I think our philosophy behind having a very competitive schedule, which is about top 40 in the country, is not only to prepare for postseason, prepare for conference, regionals, and nationals, but to know what we're up against. We all consider um, our team as being one of the a top-ranked team, and we should be ranked in the top 25, top 50 consistently with the resources, the facilities, and the coaching staff that we have here on all fronts at DU. That's our goal. Um, so when we're playing against teams that are similarly ranked, um, I think we have a good idea of where our game is compared to theirs or where it needs to be. Um, from, from driving distance to up and down to how many putts and birdies we're having. Um, the, it, college women's golf is getting so competitive and there's more programs that are, are beginning um, in the, here in the next few years and even in the last couple years. So. We have to continue to improve, and I and I believe, and our coaching staff believes that this is the best way to continue to improve, play challenging courses, different types of grass, and see different teams. Um, I think that when you get to the regional championship and you have seen some of these teams from all over the country, you're a little less intimidated. You know what to expect, and same thing with the national championship. So it's just helping us feel more prepared, more comfortable and confident when we get to postseason, as well as knowing you know, what we're up against and how we need to continue to improve.